Hey, what's up guys, folks? Come on, some more Game Dev Tycoon. Let's hop into the Fluffy Nights. Click to continue. Alrighty, here we are in the Fluffy Nights once again. Um, so we have another suggestion. Um, so let's get right into it, shall we? Uh, let's develop a new game. And the topic is going to be horror and of course you see stuff down there I, I even tried to go on do not disturb or busy on a uh, steam and it didn't work apparently uh, RPG and PC maybe someone knows where this is going and of course we're gonna pick cryogen as our game engine because it's the only one we have as you can see there and uh, this top um, this game was actually suggested by Jerry um, the guy who suggested the game engine if you don't know him um, cryogen yeah, as we're using for this game. See, it's funny because he suggested the game engine, and then I'm using his game engine in his game, which is kind of cool. Even though he suggested the game before the game engine. It's really confusing because I'm still going through the comments on the first video um, for game suggestions. Even though there's four videos out at the time of recording. This is actually episode five. Um, I'm still going through comments on the first video. I think it's the last one, though. Um... But this is even before we got a game engine, so he suggested the game engine before the, after the game, but we're doing, making the game after the game, it's really confusing. Uh, but he actually didn't suggest a game, a name for the game, so I'm just gonna call it Fusion Media, cause why not? Because we can, that's why. Let's hit next, and then we'll just go with 2 graphics version 2, because I just asked you last episode what, uh... I should do for that, and obviously that hasn't uh, happened yet. So for an RPG, we want zero engine, or actually we want a little bit. Even if we want zero for something, we still want a little tiny bit. We want to be able to see a little bit, because as you can see, the two minuses means like nothing. It means zero, but we still want a little bit of that, because if we don't have it, then if we do have a little bit, our game will be better than if we had absolutely nothing. And we want 80 for gameplay, which you already have. And then we want 100 for stories and quests. And uh, should we add in linear story? Nah, I'll just I'll just keep that as it is. So we're only spending 5k. And I did uh, I did hear you guys last episode that we are going to be doing contract work within the episode because you guys wanted that. So. 100% for dialogues, 80 for level design, and like that much for AI. I don't know how much that would be. That would be, oh, actually zero for AI? Hold on, what what this game is telling me here, I don't know, I, actually I think you guys can see the cursor. What the game is telling me is different than what my charts are telling me, so I'm just gonna go with that. Actually, let's go like in between, cause this is telling me like that much. But the charts are telling me like nothing, so let's go like in the middle right there. It's just the allocation. I don't even know what this actually like means. I guess this is because it says time allocation. I guess it's how mo how long you're gonna spend on making that thing, and I guess that actually matters. I I should know these things. I've played this game so much. I should I really should know these things. But whatever. And there's nothing we can choose for that one. So, yeah. Alright, stage 3. We want 100 for world design, 80 for graphics, and it's actually one of those really weird ones. We want 40 for sound. So that's like, I guess that is like a minus. Yeah, so that would be like 40 right there. That would be 1 minus, I think, instead of 2. And then, yeah, we need sounds. And we can't change the graphics, so. Yup, that's how it's gonna be. Just like that. Because a lot of the time the charts tell me different things than the game tells me, and I don't know which I should would do. Oh, suddenly we have new research available. Okay, that's weird, and someone's messaging me on Steam. Ignore that. Uh, casual games are now available for research. I hope he's not trying to get into my video because I told him I was recording. Industry news, recent market data shows that the Gavador G64 seem to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher-priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. 
And obviously, you guys know the Commodore 64 has died out. And PCs still live on, because that's what I'm playing this on right now. So, no new records. Sorry, I had to get a drink right there. Because I actually have a drink for once, and my throat was getting really dry. As it always is. Level up in 2D Graphics version 2. That's nice. I think it's like our second game we've made with that. So let's release the game. The first release of our newly released game, Fusion Media, came in. Ooh, I'm seeing some 10s. Ooh. Six social potential star games. Not too bad. Five falls a bit short in Form Gamer. Screw you, in Form Gamer. Seven, hey, Game Heroes being nice, finally. Seems to be, I don't know, Game Hero seems to be being nice for this. Usually when I play by myself, Game Hero is like, gives the worst ratings, but I don't know. Um, and then five, fun at stages, all games. So that's like a, uh, that's like a six, or would that be like a uh, 5.75? Yeah, 5.75. All right, let's generate a game report for it. And let's see those sales come in. All right, we got like 5k in the first week not that bad rank 60 i mean i guess that's not the best oh we're slowly going down that's kind of bad okay we've got the following results horror rpg is an okay combination just so you guys know that graphics seems to be quite important for this type of game and everyone horror is good actually i didn't even think to change that i, I bet mature would actually be better probably mature horror would be better than everyone horror but i didn't even think to change that so that's your knowledge for the day if you guys are thinking about um uh sharing some more games to make or suggesting more games i should say um that's your insights for the day okay industry news today ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called gameling the device comes with changeable game cartridges a monochrome screen and on a green background built-in speakers and even multiplayer support via connection cable compared to other pcs Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game playing is underpowered, but given a lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. The, okay, the game playing said, I thought that was the end. The game playing said to hit shelves next month. Wow. Yeah, the Game Boy the, actually just had his 25th anniversary like a week or two ago, like in real life, in real time. Because I'm recording this on the 5th of May. I'm not sure when this is going to go up. Probably not today, but. Actually, the 25th, and I should probably let that go, even though our sales are slowly going down. We are getting fans, though, which is good, but we're going down in the ranks. Uh, and we're not even on the top 100 anymore. Okay, whatever. Um, I guess we'll do some contract work. Why not? Because you guys said we should do it. The game, uh, the, not the gambling. <laughs> Let's talk about the real world equivalent. Um, the Game Boy was really revolutionary for its time. It was released in 1989. This is your uh, special facts for the day, in case you didn't know. So it was just 25 years old, like two weeks ago or something. And uh, yeah, it was one of the first. Okay, here it's been released. So now you guys can make games for the gameling. Uh, if you ever want to make a game for the Game Boy, now you can. Also, the NES and uh, Master System, you can too. How many sales was that? I didn't even see. Uh. Where is it? Top sales rank 60. And we had a profit of 84k. Did it even say? Oh, 19. 19,000 units sold. It's alright. Uh, let's compare it to our other games. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, well, actually, actually Go Kart Racers did pretty good. I forgot about that. And then we got the Paradox Shift, Infinite Time, The Tall Man, and then Fusion Media. I think. Actually, that's sadly done the worst. I'm sorry, Jerry, but your game has done the worst. And my game still has done the best. But that's not really surprising. I mean, no offense to you guys, but I probably know more about this game than you guys do. But that's perfectly fine. It's okay. You guys can look up charts if you want to. To Like I have. I have this chart to tell me what's good when I'm developing a game. What levels to do and stuff. Um... So, I, I know more about the game. I've played this game for a long time. I have multiple save files on here, and I actually have one on my, uh, <laughs> don't tell anyone. Well, actually, a lot of people know, but I have, um, I save file on my school computer that I play all the time, and I'm actually, like, past the end of the game and doing all sorts of stuff. But I won't spoil that, because I want you guys to 
and and don't spoil it for yourself i want you guys to figure this out as like as we all do with this let's play so don't go spoil yourself by looking at other videos or other things just look up charts for how to do stuff and just we'll figure out together what unlocks and stuff but yeah um oh yeah i, I thought we did horror before we did horror action last time which was the tall man and then horror rpg today which is an okay combination but all right let's finish this i guess and see if we have any more we actually might just do all of the contract work because why not But yeah, ah, this game, it's amazing. I don't even know what to talk about anymore. I don't know. Just, like, if you're trying to figure out what to do for this game, you can suggest whatever you want. And like I said before, if you've already suggested a game, it's fine. You can suggest another one. Um, it's quite alright. Everyone can suggest as many games as they can, because if we, you don't, then we're going to run out of games pretty quickly. But yeah, let's see if there's anything we can research. Um, we oh yeah we can research casual games I forgot about that so let's let's do that let's research casual games and also 25k <laughs> it took us took 25k away for doing that but yeah the growing interest in video games there is also a growing audience for video game magazines these magazines offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games like um uh, Nintendo Power which died two years ago still so sad new research available marketing and as soon as it seems to be running a theme as soon as we re, uh, research something there's another thing we can research let's see if we have enough research points for it as soon as we finish researching casual games we successfully researched casual games so now when you guys are suggesting a game to make um a new uh, i'll show you right here a new genre we can pick is now casual so we can also we can now pick or you can now pick action, adventure, RPG, simulation, strategy, and now casual for your games. As well as, like, the ratings and stuff and game engines once we get more of those. And you can also pick the game link. <laughs> Seems to be, like, every episode we gotta get a lot of new things you guys can uh, make in your games. No, we don't have enough research points for that. We need 40. Uh, do I have game tutorials? Nah. Um... I kind of want to research a new topic, but I also want to wait till you guys suggest one of these. I'm not actually sure if you guys have suggested one of these yet, because I haven't checked the other videos. Well, actually, I, ha I have, but I haven't seen if you guys want to do any of these topics. So until we make a game that involves one of these topics, I'm just going to leave them be, and then we'll research them. But... Just so we uh, have enough research points for marketing, since we need 20 more, we'll just wait out until we have more research points. And uh, so yeah, I guess since we're out of contract work, and uh, there's nothing really we can research other than, uh, whoops, we're just in that, other than uh, game tutorials, I guess we could research that, but I'd rather wait till we have 40 research points for marketing, because marketing is a really good thing and stuff. I guess we can't make a new game engine because actually we did get mono sound, but yeah. If we if you guys want to make a new engine, you can make it. Uh, you can suggest a new engine whenever you want. Just suggest what's in it and the name for it and stuff. But I guess that's gonna about wrap up this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys later. <laughs>